Okay, so for this problem, they don't tell us what the U is, so we have to come up with that on our own, and that's going to be our step number one. So step one would be to identify your U, and your U is usually something that's inside of something else, so we're going to say that U is equal to 16 minus X cubed. We're going to take the derivative of both sides, that's going to be our step number two. So we're going to take the derivative of both sides. On the left-hand side, we'll get du always. On the right-hand side, we're going to take the derivative of this. You're going to get negative 3x squared. And then don't forget about the dx over here on that side. For step number three, we need to solve for dx and substitute it back into our integral. So if we solve for this, your dx is equal to du over negative 3x squared. We're now ready to put this into our integral. When we substitute it back in, we're still doing step three here. You have x squared over, we're gonna replace the 16 minus x cubed with u because that's what our original uh, substitution was we identified there in step one. And then you're gonna also replace the dx with this expression here, that's du over negative three x squared. So once you put that in, we need to do some simplifying. Again, you should always cancel out every variable except for the u. The u should be the only variable you should have left over. We have a three down here. What'll happen is that's a negative one third. I can put that on the outside of the integral. The x squared's gonna cancel and I get du over the square root of u. So now that I have that complete, what I need to do is I'm gonna change this into a, a power so it's gonna be easier to do the inverse power rule so I can, I'll rewrite that at negative one third on the outside, and then this is going to be u to negative one half du. And I'm finally ready for step four. Step four is where you actually take the antiderivative and substitute the u back in. So for this, uh, we have negative one third, and then I'm going to work with this one. I have u to the positive one half divided by one half, raise the power by one, divide by the new power. Don't forget about the, the plus C. And then when you flip this fraction, you're going to get a negative two-thirds. And then I have U, the one-half. Instead of the U, I'm going to put in 16 minus X cubed. And I can turn that into a, a square root as well. So I flip the, the two. Two times negative one-third is negative two-thirds there. I get U, the one-half, but the U, I put that expression back in because your answer has to have X's in it because that's how it originally was given and our problem has x's. And then this would be your final answer. You're putting a plus c in it because you don't have any numbers here on the integral. Okay, so this one, once again, they don't tell us what the u is. So you want to pick the u, should be the one on the inside here. Now, for this particular problem, uh, what you can do also, another way to notice what your u has to be is, notice on the outside we have a smaller power. Whenever you take the derivative, you're always subtracting one from your exponent. So that's kind of another way you can tell where the u is. This one here, if I subtract one from the fourth power, I'll get a cube. And so that's another way you can tell what your, your u should equal. So in this case, it's going to be on the inside of the radical. But in case it wasn't, that's another way you can tell uh, what your u would be equal to. You want to pick the one that has the, the, the higher power so that when you take the derivative, subtract one, you'll get the other one on the outside. So I'm going to pick this one. Now I'm going to purposely write this as... Uh, 8 down here, x to the fourth power, so that's what I'll call u, the part on the inside here. And I'm writing it in this form to make it easier to do the derivative, which we're going to do in step number two. Step two, derivative of the left hand side is du. On the right hand side, derivative of 1 is 0. In this case, the 4 is going to come down and multiply by the 1 eighth, so you're going to get a 1 half that reduces to x cubed and then dx. We want to solve this for dx, that's what we're going to do for step number three. So dx is going to be du divided by one half x to the third. But if you don't want to divide by a fraction, it's probably better to flip that fraction. So therefore, your dx is equal to uh, two du over x cubed. So that's going to be easier now. Plug in, we're not dividing, have a one fraction divided by another. Uh, this we can now put it back into our uh, original integral. So if we do that, we have x cubed. The square root, we're going to replace all this inside the square root with u because that's what we made our substitution. That's what we said u was equal to. Replace the dx with this. So I have 2 du over x cubed. 
And what will happen there is the x cubes, those can uh, cancel. And then the 2, we're going to move on that, that on the outside. And then I just end up with this here. So 2 is on the outside. I have u the 1 half du. We're now ready to take the antiderivative, and that's what we do in step number 4. We'll leave the 2 right here, raise the power by 1. That's going to be uh, 3 halves there, divided by 3 halves. And then don't forget about the plus c we'll have on this one. We need to flip the fraction. So when we flip the fraction, that's going to give us a, a 4 thirds. So 4 thirds u to the 3 halves plus c. And so then finally, we'll, we'll just put the expression for u back in, 1 plus x to the fourth over 8, all that's raised to the 3 halves plus c. So this right here would be your final answer.